Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wrestling Man's Wrestling Show, episode number 129. This week on the show, WWE, Ring of Honor, the Indies, uh, Japan, the NWA, and the Book of the Month, plus a brand new segment, which really could come up at any time during the show. So, let's get right to the ratings of Pro Wrestling Illustrated that just came out yesterday. The overall top 10 goes as this. Matt Morgan is at 10, Austin Aries 9, Triple H is at 8, Blue Demon Jr. 7, Christian 6, CM Punk 5, John Cena 4, Jeff Hardy 3, Kurt Angle 2, and Randy Orton remains number 1 on the ratings. Now, in the tag team ratings... Kalen Croft and Trent Barretta are at 10. Ted DiBiase Jr. and Cody Rhodes, 9. Roderick Strong and Eric Stevens, 8. Team 3D, 7. Doug Williams and Brutus Magnus, 6. Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards, 5. Rache Brown and Keith Walker, 4. Robert Roode and James Storm, 3. Chris Jericho and The Big Show, 2. And Scott Steiner and Booker T are the new number 1. Now, let's get right to Raw. And, um... Happened in Washington, D.C. Of course, Night of Champions happened the night before. Um, probably figured out by now some of the ratings have changed. Big Show is the partner of Chris Jericho. Jeff Hardy defeated CM Punk to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And Mickey James defeated Maurice to become the new Divas Champion. So Shaquille O'Neal was the guest host of the night. And to tell you, you know, I loved it. I thought that he did the best job of all the guest hosts so far and you could tell that the crowd in DC they were into it they were excited you know um, I really loved his interaction with Jericho and Big Show I mean I'll tell you if Shaquille O'Neal didn't play if he never had a basketball career he could have been selling in wrestling I think he could have been a manager or even a wrestler. He really could have. He did a really good job on the mic. Um, so he did a beat the clock challenge for the title shot against Randy Orton at SummerSlam. Uh, Mark Henry went up first. He defeated Carlito. He set the time. I think it was 6.49, I believe, was the time to beat. So MVP came up. He fought the returning Chris Masters. And I thought, you know, Masters, we haven't seen him in like two years or so. I thought he did a decent job for his return to the WWE. He did get a few welcome back chants. I don't know if you um, caught that or not. but So MVP and uh, Chris Masters, they got counted out. So MVP's out. Triple H gets Cody Rhodes. Now that one really surprised me. I thought, well, this is going to be typical Triple H. He's going to go over he actually didn't get over it. He did not beat the time, which amazed me. I was very surprised. I'm sure as a bunch of other people were. Um, Jack Thwagger against Evan Bourne. And uh, Evan Bourne got the win with a small package on Jack Thwagger. So Thwagger is not going to SummerSlam. Oh, my God. Now I'm doing that lisp, too. <laughs> and uh, finally, John Cena against The Miz. John Cena did beat The Miz within the time. So SummerSlam, John Cena and Randy Orton for the WWE title. And, you know, i got to tell you, I'm not afraid of this match. You know, and what I mean by that, I'm not afraid that this is going to be a bad match. Because we had this same main event two years ago. And to me, that was a match of the year candidate. It was underrated as a match of the year candidate. But it was the best match on the show that night, I thought. So, um, we had a Divas match. Jerry Lawler commentated that all by himself because Michael Cole was in the back with Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and speaking of Michael Cole, that leads us into our brand new segment. <laughs> And it is called the Loser of the Week. What is the Loser of the Week? Well, basically the individual or individuals make themselves look like a loser, look like a dumbass. So, during a very interesting uh, segment with Shaquille O'Neal and Hornswoggle, 
Michael Cole was in the back with Shaq, and they had a little bit of talking. He was like, "Shaq delicious," and he put the fist out. And so, Michael Cole, you are the inaugural winner of the Loser of the Week award. God, I love that. I'm gonna do that one more time. That's like the new, my new favorite toy. I'm sorry, I love that. I really love that. Um, one other thing that I really liked about Raw was Chavo Guerrero against Hornswoggle. Yeah, it's the fourth week in a row they fought each other, but really I liked the blindfold thing with Chavo, and especially when Chavo was going up for the frog splash. That was the one of the, maybe the funniest thing on Raw this whole week. It was like a Warner Brothers cartoon, you know. Wally E. Coyote, he's chasing the Roadrunner. He's getting Roadrunner set up. And then, um, you know, here comes the Roadrunner behind him. You know, does that, meep, meep. And there goes Wally E. Coyote. I loved it. Um, of course, I don't know how much longer the Chavo Hornswoggle thing's going to go. But that'll be very interesting to see. Um, and then, of course, after all ended, if you haven't seen it by now... Last Monday was Triple H's 40th birthday, and um, they had a very special party for Triple H. You've got to see it. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, but Eva Batista came out. Of course, Batista was not in Raw, but Batista does live in D.C., so you know that's why he was there. And the other news of the week, which sucks... <laughs> was that the Brian Kendrick got cut yesterday. Hopefully, the Indies in Japan are looking for him. Let's get to the ratings real quick of the three brands. Start with Raw. Big Show is at 10. Mark Henry, 9. Evan Bourne, 8. Jack Swagger, 7. The Miz, 6. MVP, 5. Ted DiBiase, 4. Kofi Kingston, 3. Triple H, 2. And by virtue of beating the clock, John Cena is the new number one. On SmackDown, Tyson Kidd is at 10. R-Truth, 9. D.H. Smith is at 8, Chris Jericho 7, The Great Kali 6, Kane 5, Dolph Ziggler 4, Rey Mysterio 3, John Morrison 2, and CM Punk is number 1. And finally, in ECW, excuse me, Paul Birchall is at 10, William Regal 9, Tyler Rex is 8, Ezekiel Jackson 7, Yoshi Tatsu 6, Hashima is 5, Zack Ryder 4, Vladimir Kozlov 3, Finley 2, and Tommy Dreamer is at number 1, Christian, the new ECW champion. Gonna take a break. When I return, Ring of Honor and the results from Death Before Dishonor weekend.